My name is Ed Valentine, and I am a radiation oncologist at Stony Brook University Cancer Center. I'm going to talk about radiation therapy to treat axillary lymph nodes disease from Hodgkin lymphoma. The axilla is a medical term for armpit or underarm. Hodgkin lymphoma is one of several cancers which invade these lymph nodes. The goal of radiation therapy is to completely get rid of the diseased lymph nodes in the axilla. And with a three to four week course of treatment, that's 15 to 20 treatments, we have an excellent chance of achieving that goal. Almost any adult can tolerate this course of radiation therapy. And if they're among the rare few who cannot, they can treat, be treated exclusively with chemotherapy. Most of the time, we use a radiation beam which encompasses the diseased lymph nodes plus a margin of normal tissue and treat from in front and from in back. But in certain cases, we can treat with tightly conformal radiation therapy that wraps around the diseased lymph nodes, sort of like a pair of tight-fitting jeans. And um, we can treat with either a short course or a long course in those cases. A short course, high-dose regimen is called stereotactic body radiation therapy, or SBRT. And a longer course treatment with such tightly conformal therapy is called intensity modulated radiation therapy, or IMRT. There are certain cases where we can even retreat patients if necessary. Radiation therapy is only a minor part of the whole team approach to treating Hodgkin lymphoma. Surgery obtains the biopsy, which establishes the diagnosis, which in turn establishes the approach to treatment. Chemotherapy and immunotherapy treat the patient's whole body. With this team approach, we have a real chance of obtaining a greater than 80% cure rate. But in addition, we are very concerned about quality of life because these patients may live 20, 40, or even 60 years beyond their treatment. That is, they can expect a whole lifetime after they finish their treatment for Hodgkin lymphoma. Our team at Stony Brook has both the expertise and the passion to achieve cure and long-term quality of life. I feel that Stony Brook offers the best approach to treating Hodgkin lymphoma.